and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to continue with part two of this 2018 British 24 hour brown bag and take a look at its lunch and dinner components. So let's get them out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And welcome back to part two of this British 24 hour brown bag menu number two ration review. And in this video I'm going to take up their lunch and dinner components. And to save a little bit of time I've already got out what I would consider the lunch components of this menu. And for lunch I've picked out the Rombert's Cafe with creamer and whitener. I'm going to take a look at the cherry isotonic drinks powder. We're also going to have the tomato pasta salad, the sesame seed bar, and take a look at the salted peanuts. I also have here some of the hot diggity dog hot sauce, um, just in case it needs a little bit of pepping up. Now, I'm going to start where I normally like to start, and that is with the things that need a bit of preparation, and that is, in this case, the coffee. So this is the Rombouts Instant Coffee. Um, I've had these many times before. I've had many, many, many British rations. I do find these are generally a decent coffee, providing you don't put too much water with them. So I'm going to make it how I like it with the creamer. Nice creamer there. And the sugar stick of the Beyond the Beaten Track sugar. And again, using the handle from the very impressive spork, and we're just going to stir that using about half, but no more than three quarters of a mug to get the best results from the coffee. So that's just a little bit over the halfway mark. Put that to one side there. Next, I'm going to need to look at the orange isotonic, sorry, the cherry isotonic drinks powder. Now again, this is one of the many isotonic drinks powders in the pack. Calls for 400 millilitres of cold or hot water. So on a cold day, you can have it as a hot drink. And for those of you that was interested, I don't know if that's got to focus, there's an indication there of the vitamin uh, con and mineral contents. So you can pause if you want to have a proper look. But there's a nice selection of vitamins and minerals. So, as I said, this is about a 370 milliliter glass. This is for 400 milliliters, so I'm not going to put all of the powder, but the majority of it in there. Like everything else, you can always add, but you can never take away. So I'll just leave a little in the powder at the bottom there. I can always add two if need be. And just again using the spoon handle just mix that up good stir it is sugar sugar takes a little bit longer to dissolve but it's that all about the energy give the troops the energy they need so I'm now going to move along and open some more of the sundry items. This is the canned salted peanuts. Now I think these have totally disappeared in the newer versions. This is a 2018 ration, one of the first production runs of the brown bag. And again, I have got a crate, well, a box of 10 of the new latest ones. And I know the contents of them have changed slightly again. So a nice hearty tin of peanuts, just empty a few few out there it's a large tin plenty left over so has it got an indication of the weight cannot see I'm sure it's on there somewhere but it is a large tin more than enough there just to sample now we have the sesame seed sweet bar now this is feeling very soft and gooey I think it's seen better days so we'll just open the corner there so we can take a bite of the corner. These seem to be either exceptionally hard, which you can't separate, or I've gone a bit soft like in this case. 
personally I prefer them slightly on the soft side and last but not least let's have a look at this tomato pasta salad now these are meant to be eaten, eaten hot or cold in previous British rations I tend to find the tomato pastas are better eaten cold I just hope I haven't made the mistake with this one and it should have been better eaten hot but either way you can eat them hot or cold obviously soldiers on the run don't always have time to make things hot and looking at this one I think I have made a little bit of an error could have been better to have heated this one up giving it 10 minutes boiling in a pan but it would have made it a lot more juicy a lot more watery but I'm sure it will still taste pretty good even cold so a little bit more drier I think a lot of that tomato would have turned into a much more of a sauce but still they much eatable so I'm going to start now where I like to start and that is with the coffee now this is the Rombouts coffee nice dark looking rich roast Mm, plenty of strength, plenty of flavour, particularly with only half to three quarters of a mug. It's a good, dark, strong, not bitter. It's tell it's an instant, but it's a good instant. It's one of the better ones. Nice, enjoyable, strong, decent, instant coffee. Now let's have a look at the cherry drink there. So this is the cherry, nice little film of sugar floating on the top. Mm -hmm. Well, it's quite, quite tart. It's they're almost like a lemon, but it's got a cherry flavour, artificial cherry. Most people, I think, would have had cherry candies, cherry sweets. It is that sort of artificial cherryness, but with all that sugar. It is still quite tart. It still draws in your cheeks, which makes it a nice, refreshing, enjoyable cold drink. Now, I think I'm going to go to the mains and looking at this one. As I said, I think I've made a mistake by not warming it, but I'll still give it a go. Troops do eat them cold straight out the pouch. Mm. There is tomato, there is basil, pastas are just cooked they're not soggy they're not like they've been overcooked but al dente herbs pepper salt tomato quite tart again the tomatoes are a little bit on the sour side lots of flavor going on no meat this is a vegetarian pouch not a vegetarian menu it's just a vegetarian pouch within there because there was chicken sausage in part one very tasty very filling lots of flavor basil I've got some hot diggity dog hot sauce now these are known as being one of the better ones out in the Russian world a little sprinkle few little bits because it has got a kick previous experience has taught me good quality hot original pepper sauce and certainly certainly got lots of kick Let's have a little try got a little bit down on there mm. mm -hmm. good fiber kick certainly adds a lot more zing lot more flavour wow I think even that little lot was too much for me personally I do like the heat but you can overpower it's a very powerful very enjoyable hot sauce but you do need to be mindful how much you add I'm just gonna to need to refresh my palate because it is getting rather hot nice cooling mouth cleanser hot diggity dog certainly lives up to its name 
does add a nice heat, nice extra dimension to the dish, but you just need to be careful how much you add. Now, moving along, take a look at some of these peanuts. So they're just roasted, salted peanuts, some quite large ones in there. Exactly what it says on the tin. Salted peanuts. Fresh, crunchy, nice level of salt. Very enjoyable, very tasty. Walk along, chucking handfuls into your mouth. Very great tasting energy food. Need to refresh my palate again. More look at this sesame seed bar. As we say, it's gone a little soft and pliable. So I'll just break a little piece off just to show you. Sesame seeds in a caramel. This particular one, sweet, soft, chewy, strong sesame flavour. If you like sesame seeds, you'll enjoy these. Very tasty, very nourishing, very energy rich. Sweet, tasty bar. Sometimes these are so hard you can hardly break them. Other times they're soft. This one has gone soft. And I think the softer ones are more enjoyable, tastier, easier to chew. So, even despite my little mistake by not warming this one up, still tasty, plenty of flavours. Certainly not an issue eating it cold, but it would have been better warm. All the other uh, contents have been high quality, good tasting, and a nice lunch meal. So join me in a couple of seconds when I bring you back to take a look at the evening meal or supper. See you in a minute. And welcome back to this third and final meal from this British 24 hour ORP. And for the evening meal or the final meal, I'm going to have the chicken and mushroom pasta. I'm going to take a look at this sticky toffee pudding. We have the hot chocolate beverage drink, uh, orange flavour. And I'm going to take a look at the tropical flavour drinks powder. Um, I also have two, uh, hot diggity dog on standby once again. I'm going to look at the, another one of their gums, the V6, and I think this one is the Spearmint. Yes, the Spearmint and Peppermint came in the pack. So, let's start where I normally have to start, or like to start. It's with the beverages. I'm going to take a look at this hot chocolate orange flavour. Now, again, just from personal experience, um, I happen to think that these hot chocolates from the British ORPs are some of the best out there. It does call for 500 millilitres or a full canteen mug of hot water, but this is slightly smaller, so I just eat most of the powder, not all of it. Obviously, you could add all of it, it would just be extremely strong. So I'm just trying to get the best combination. So there is a there is a little fraction of that left in there. And again, using the spoon handle, let's give that a bit of a mix. Now this will go to a full mug. There was certainly enough in there. So we'll get a full mug. And a good stir. So we we'll just wipe that down a little bit. And next one is to take a look at the tropical flavoured um, drinks powder. Again, this one calls for about 500 millilitres. So again, we'll just take it most of the powder, not all. So about three quarters of the powder, give or take a little bit. Again, as I do say, you can always add you can't take it back out, so about three quarters of the powder there for the tropical flavour. And this one obviously is cold water. A 
good mix. A lot of sugars in there again. All of these beverage bases in the Bush RP are sugar heavy. But like I said before, sugar's energy. Troops need energy. They expend an awful lot of energy. So it's not a problem. Okay. So moving on. Um, I just have a Spearmint V6 gun. This is two briquettes. I should just get one out ready. So tear it open there. So these are dental gum meant to clean your teeth as well as freshen your breath. Start looking now at the mains. We have the chicken and mushroom pasta. I don't know if that's focusing there. Uh, this time I have made it hot. Should have made the other one hot, but it still tasted pretty good. This one is piping hot. A good 10 15 minutes boiling. It's a nice smell emanating from there. It is burning my hands. It is so warm. Oops, built all over my table now. But these retort pouches do transfer the heat very well. Very, very well. So, a nice bowl of comforting food there. And finally, the puddings. The British do like a pudding, sticky toffee pudding. And as I said earlier, can be eaten cold, but they do go better warm. A lot of reviewers don't warm up the British puddings because where the, their countries the puddings are eaten cold in the UK puddings are generally eaten hot as always can be eaten cold but to get the true true flavour make them hot nice and hot to get all of that sticky toffee sauce out there Okay, so again, where do I like to start? I'll start with the drinks. So this is the orange flavoured chocolate drink, chocolate drinks powder. Mm. Very rich, very tasty, good chocolate flavour. Nice hint of orange. Um, they do generally come in orange, mint and original chocolate flavour, all of them. Heavy chocolate base, thick, comforting, creaming. I still stand by it. It is no bias. I say as I find, British or not, this is one of the best drinking chocolates in any ration. The British ration has always had, in my opinion, one of the best drinking chocolates out there. Move along to the tropical flavoured drinks powder. Nice yellow colour, but not overly coloured, not fluorescent. It's nice to just have a gentle yellow quite delicately flavoured again there is a sort of tart flavour to it it's not overly sweet for the amount of sugar that's in there you think it would be overly sweet but they put a tartness to it to balance it down very difficult to distinguish what actual flavours are in there to call it tropical I would suggest orange pineapple mango maybe there is a, definitely a combination of flavours, all artificial, but still very delicately done. Very tasty, very refreshing, very enjoyable energy drink. Now, the mains. So this is the um, chicken and mushroom pasta, creamy pasta. As the name suggests, there are large chunks of mushroom, large chunks of chicken. So there's the chicken. Let's have a little try of that first. Mm -hmm. Still got texture, still meat um, strings there. It's got it's cooked, but not overly so. That's what I'm trying to say. Still need teeth to eat it. Does have meat texture. We're gonna have a look at the pasta now. Quite soft. Slightly overcooked, not al dente. There is a creamy background sauce. You can taste the mushroom coming through. Let's have a look at one of the big pieces of mushroom. There's a big piece of the mushroom. Mm -hmm. Again, soft but not overly cooked, like the chicken. 
The only thing that's slightly overcooked I was just as the pasta, but that's not too far gone. Creamy, comforting, hot, filling, tasty. In the UK, we have chicken and mushroom pies. Sort of things we can buy from our takeouts, takeaways, the fish and chip shops. They often do a chicken and mushroom pie with the chips. Um, those, those that are familiar with the UK would recognise that chicken and mushroom flavour. That's exactly what this pasta dish tastes like. The filling out of a chicken and mushroom pie with pasta. Those who are not familiar with the UK takeaway, it's creamy, it's got the flavour of the mushroom, there is the chicken chunks in there. Flavoursome, good taste of home, sort of flavours that the troops would remember and enjoy. Just a little palate cleanser. Very mild, don't really need a bit of the hot diggity dog, but I'm going to just because I have and because I can. A little bit of the hot diggity dog there just to try a little bit that might be overpowering for what is otherwise a delicate dish so let's just try that with the hot diggity dog gives it the kick gives it bite if you are a heat fan you would certainly enjoy that but it does take away the delicateness of the original dish all I can now taste now is the heat, the chilli um, and the flavour of the original dish is gone it's just hot, peppery and spicy now but if that's the sort of flavour you like certainly goes well turns it into a totally different dish it's a hot, spicy, peppery now instead of a delicately flavoured, creamy mushroom but still a nice enjoyable meal. I do need to refresh my palate now because that hot diggy dog is a hot sauce. Now moving on to the sticky toffee, jam, toffee pudding. I'm going to bring in a spoon. I think that's a Lithuanian spoon. So it's a sponge, sponge type cake, pound cake, sponge cake with a dripping toffee um, sauce mm. sweet soft toffee caramel style flavor it's stodgy it's heavy it's filling real comforting tasty sweet dish One of my old favourites, this and the British Army chocolate pudding, my two top favourite puddings. Sweet, tasty, soft, thick, gooey, what is there not to like? It's toffee, caramel flavour, great pudding, great sweet, great dessert, nice, nice, nice. A little bit sticky now, so I have a last look at an antibacterial wipe. Again, I find these are one of the best anti-back wipes out there. They're strong, they're large, they're moist, they've got a good size to them. They don't tear easily, they're almost like a cloth instead of a paper. And good size, for cleaning your hands. You could even clean your face with these, the face cloth they are certainly large enough two-handed and strong no untoward smell no cleaning detergent smell just a good feeling large strong wet nap certainly you could add a little bit more water and make a proper like a face cloth from out of those good quality wet naps and finally spearmint v6 Two briquettes, instant spearmint oil kick, there's a lot of mint in there, crispy crunchy shell, soft gum, very very refreshing, 
good mint oil content perfect for refreshing your breath after some hot diggity dog nice tasty mint gum so there are still a few little sundry items left we have one more tutti frutti drinks powder which is very similar to the tropical we have a coffee whiteners another pack of gum there is a thai food tea so plenty more little accessories there to help get you through the rest of the 24 hours overall tasty enjoyable filling meal so i'm going to leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye